Welcome to this short infrastructure automation demonstration with VMware Telco Cloud Automation. As the Telco Cloud footprint grows with network edge use cases, such as radio access network or edge computing, the complexity and the cost to deploy hundreds and thousands of sites can hinder this fundamental network transformation. Infrastructure automation is a capability developed by VMware to simplify the network expansion, both for the core and edge use cases. Before we dive into the demo specifics, a few words about some of the basic concepts. A network expansion is defined as adding new resources to an existing data center or provision an entirely new data center with the Telco Cloud required software appliances and underlying best practice configurations. Users can create multiple data center types to match the context of their use case, from core to edge to RAN. This demonstration will focus on automating the provisioning of two new network sites in London and Belfast. The software stack deployed will be slightly different in each site. Telco Cloud SDDC Components generic list includes Telco Cloud Automation, vCenter, NSXT, vSAN, vRealize Orchestrator, and Log Insight. Note that VMware ESXi has been deployed on bare metal hardware at each site before this demo recording. In this demo, we perform three steps. First, we define the global settings applicable to all data center domains, then the specific configuration of each site. Finally, we configure and provision the hosts for both locations. Even if this demo leverages Telco Cloud Automation user interface, the system allows users to define the configurations through JSON files. Let's log in with our credentials and open Infrastructure Automation. The first thing on our to-do list is to set our global settings that govern key variables for all underlying domains. It includes elements such as DNS and NTP configurations, software image locations, and appliances configurations. The second stage is to define the site and domain requirements. By default, Telco Cloud Automation proposes four types of Telco Cloud configurations, central, regional, compute cluster, and cell sites. Each configuration has predefined SDDC components optimized for the use case it is foreseen to fulfill. For example, a central site would contain additional management software compared to a regional or cell site. That being said, we can customize the software appliances used on any site. Let's start by adding the central site in London. The process to add a site is fairly straightforward. You start by specifying the site name, its location, which will be used in the cloud map, and unless you need to override the global settings, you can move directly to the input of all required licenses of the software stack to be deployed. The remaining steps focus on the virtual switch and networking configurations. In our current case, we define the host default NIC 0 and 1 as the London Distributed Virtual Switch, or DVS, uplinks. A central site requires a minimum of two NICs to communicate. From there, we can identify the network VLAN ID, gateway address, and IP pools. The appliance overrides allows naming override if there is a mismatch with names specified in the DNS. This is not needed in our case, and we can move forward and save the central site. London has been added as a new site in the central site list. We will do similar steps to add Belfast as a regional site. The main difference between a central and a regional site resides in the software stack deployed. As mentioned earlier, the regional site will rely on the central site for some management capabilities. Once Belfast has been added, we verify each appliance's IP index. All good. Let's save this configuration. This completes the central and regional site configurations. All the specs are saved and also available as a JSON file for future use. You can select the download spec link and download the file. The file content will match all the previously inputted configurations. Now, let's add hosts to our sites. First, select the London site, then the host tab. From there, you can add as many hosts as required. For each host, you specify the IP address, plus its username and password. For this London site, we've added four hosts, which is the minimum configuration required for a central site. We will repeat the same process for the regional Belfast site and add four hosts. Now that all hosts have been added, 
we can view both data centers' provisioning process in the Task tab, starting with London. The process will take approximately an hour to execute. The sites have been successfully provisioned with all the required software. As listed in the dashboard, the two new clouds are connected and available, ready to host Kubernetes clusters and network functions. In this demo, we have defined configurations and provisioned a complete SDDC stack for a central and regional site. This process takes full advantage of automation and can easily be reused to provision large-scale network expansion, drastically simplifying this rather immensely complex process. Besides, this consistency of specifications across sites can avoid misconfigurations, resulting in operational and security issues. Thank you for attending this demonstration. Don't forget to look at our CAS automation, XNF instantiation, and 5G network services rollout to understand automation's role in your network transformation. <music> <laughs>